The spiral horns of Africa are just amazing animals. When you think of a spiral horn, you think of the kudu, the big corkscrewing horns, uh, the gray ghost. Uh, kudu are difficult to hunt, and oftentimes to get a 55 or 60 inch bull, you may have to go three or four times to Africa just for an opportunity with a bow at a, a, a majestic kudu like that. Africa's grey ghost, probably one of the most challenging species to hunt. At times they can be so elusive it's unreal and at other times they can be quite easy to hunt. It's the start, their the rut is from May, June. They lose all their natural paranoia about being shy and secretive and that is certainly the time to hunt as kudu is doing the rut which is the, basically the start of the winter period. But the kudus can filter through the bush completely quietly with those huge horns of theirs. They eat um, gregarious, which means they hang around usually in groups of four or five to seven, mainly four or five females in a bull. And again, it's the eyes of the females that are the ones that are going to spot you when you're stalking the bull. They fairly soft and easy to kill but again any African animal if you don't shoot it properly they can walk forever. rocks right here. As you can see, look at this. What we got right here. There's a little tower set up. We just put a pop-up blind up there. The trees are too small here and there are too many stickers in them to get a tree stand. This river splits right here and this is just a little island. We got a little river drainage on this side and that side. It's all just dry riverbed right now. Out here, you can see what we did. We poured these pellets out. Supplemental feeding the animals around here. And that's what the kudu came in to eat. Been waiting all day since dark. We had a couple of cows in here this morning and we didn't have nothing. That big bull didn't come in till night. But we had him on trail camera. He was on this pile right here. Right here is where he was, and right here is where I shot him, right here. Oh, good. Blood right there, blood on the rock. He kicked that arrow out. There's a lot of blood right here. Right here. There's the arrow. See how he broke it off? Look at the blood. Blood goes all the way up to here. Got my new Fletch tails on there. Awesome, he went this way. Lots of blood right here, right on impact. It's really good. Blood, blood splatter right here. Blood splatter right here. Lots of blood right here. 
you can see right here look at that blood splattering all over the rocks you know don't look for blood and dirt unless that's all you've got look for blood on leaves look for it on sticks look for it on rocks it shows up real easy and it makes them easy to follow it's going right through here there he is right there <laughs> kudu he didn't go 50 yards let me put that creed down right there look at this oh look at this beautiful eastern cape kudu <laughs> look at the deep spirals now you know there's the greater kudu the lesser kudu and the cape kudu the cape kudu has a big body but he has smaller horns this is a for sure mature adult bull big deep spirals got two twists here which is what you look for look at the old folds on his face the colors beautiful and you saw this one came out just at dark and that's what these old bulls do i still get nervous when i'm at full draw uh, that's what makes bow hunting so exciting and when you're at full draw and you're trying to put the pin on them and you know i had them a little bit quartered toward but i was thinking the the cow was a little alert and i thought they were going to just leave and as soon as he turned away from me i was going to lose him and so i decided to put it right on his shoulder and touch the release great penetration two blade rage extreme 50 yards he piles up right here Africa is just an amazing place. I love bow hunting. I love bow hunting in Africa, and this is why. What a kudu, huh? <laughs> Matthews, catch us if you can.